Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate how we can use Revit structural model to analyze in Sophistic. Um, in this model is one uh, study model that we could um, use it. It's a high-rise apartment building. Um, structural model is, is done by um, my our partner um, architects. Uh, and um, I'm here for the research purpose um, analyzing this part of the whole structure in um, it by using Sophistic. I was thinking around w what would be good uh, solution to use this um, structural model by pick to uh, for the structural analysis. The the model is highly developed and. Um, um, this model was using Revit to demo to find out um, structural permission from authority. The the challenge here is that the whole model is ha well developed, so which means um, it's not easy to convert simply by using Revit analytical model surface. So we thought about some solution and end up exporting Revit model to Rhino. And in Rhino, using some uh, grasshopper definition in order to organize calculation model, the so analytical model. So I'm going to here, so far, test it for podium and, um, and the whole basement structure. And if you go to, for instance, the whole 3D, yeah, that structure for the to begin with, we um, I'm starting to calculate it. Of course, in Revit, we can convert geometry to use analytical surface, um, but I found that it's way too slow and very difficult to deal with. Um, the model to organize. Um, it's because Revit is very slow for analytical model analysis and I was thinking maybe there would be better solution so for, for instance with Dynamo we could um, select the whole world structure and then at the end we extracting the um, the surface which is in the middle of the world and we ex this maybe we could export this um, we could export that surface to analyze in Rhino uh, interface and yeah but it with Dynamo it was also still slow um, so I think Grasshopper we really optimum solution for this. So in Rhino, we um, exported whole Revit structural model and simply once more analyzed how the main structure look like by using clipping plane and um, I'm gonna hide whole analytical surface so you can see here we have entire Revit model <laughs> and um, yeah we can quickly take a look the model how it built it um, as you can see, there are many different types of beam and columns that we could set, first of all, the database in SSD and then we we organize this structural model using Grasshopper. Of course, um, Grasshopper is not 100% ensuring the uh, analytical model uh, organization 
because the model is very far developed for construction detail. So in this case, um, I um, just extract the possible, most possible structure. Just default most possible structure with the geometry pipeline. For instance, here the wall center line we could extract um, with Dyna uh, Grasshopper and analytical surface for the floor, foundation, and um, ramp and columns, and also the beam. Um, by extracting ice curve of the geometry. So at the end, we analyze it with a sophistic. I was thinking to use graph of uh, to sophistic directly, but um, in my opinion, in this case, when it's quite complex geometry is um, already proposed, then um, I think just using Rhino interface with Sophistic is uh, more beneficial than Grasshopper. I'll, I'll, I'll show you why I think in that way. For instance, now we go here, the um, Rhino interface, and that's I just um, extract only the basement and um, atrium of a uh, whole structure. After Grasshopper definition, we baked each members and surface area according to according to the um, construction drawing and um, here we have um, analytical model for for sophistic and of course the benefit first benefit I found is that um, even though we use grasshopper there are a lot of case we have to manually fix some connections between slab and core um, because the geometry from Grasshopper is also not 100% perfect to analyze the structure. So for example, if I isolate that, the slab profile, slope, slab profile is already quite, um, um, it's, it's not simple geometry for s structural analysis, I, I can say. So, that's why many cases I have to manually um, edit in Rhino. In Sophistic, the benefit of using Sophistic is that we can use Rhino interface and Grasshopper interface with SSD. And as you can see, we can also s um, graphically display the um, support condition or the members, how it going to be look like in, in uh, Sophistic. I have to turn off that, it's quite heavy. So, and um, we can also see how the geometry um, going to be look like after um, initial anal analysis, which means we can select the whole structure and we can also combine and bake them to a, a, a mesh geometry. And then um, we could see which area uh, is um, giving us a uh, running or the me whole mesh structure which part is not 100% clearly assembled for the structural analysis. You can see this nice uh, mesh geometry from Sophistic result. Um, and also because when we analyze or calculate um, from Sophistic, it gives some reference number in terms of um, error area that we can find uh, the components from Rhino interface. For instance, we can use this filter tool and I can say curb or surface, which is the uh, number, element number 
in this case here I can see and if that is what the uh, one element from sophistic calculation then I can simply select that and I can take a look what is the error and we can fix in Rhino really quickly because using Revit is really difficult to achieve this analytical model accurate accurately um, um, edit uh, because the uh, physical geometry and analytical model is kind of linked in Revit and that is really difficult to organize for structural analysis but in Rhino there is no such uh, constraints so we can easily modify the whole structure uh, for sophistic and after that I um, for this part I um, export it and we can analyze um, the whole structure in SSD so the members are all displayed here material and also the manual at the, man it, at the moment the uh, road case I just gave um, simple um, dead road and as you can see we can um, see the weak part of the building the only thing I am not quite sure about this sophistic is that that here for this SSD file size is becomes over 3 gigabyte which is quite heavy but um, I'm happy that it can be analyzed and I can, as an architect, it's difficult to understand sometimes uh, which part is weak. But um, with a um, sophistic, I could really go through um, the weak part of the building structure. And in result, with wing graph, we can go more um, intense analysis in terms of displacement or deformation of the structure um, and yeah so until now I'm showing the workflow and um, we can take a look some result in the next slide um, the following video I would like to finish the entire building structure for her structural analysis and hopefully I can upload uh, soon when I when I finish the um, the analysis so at, at the end of the day um, the, the agenda for this structure is um, yeah analyzing this whole structure of the top uh, of the high-rise building Okay. So let's take a look some result for this podium area that I um, calculate and hopefully you can get some idea how we can uh, work with uh, Revit model with the sophistic interface.